you spearheaded the decriminalisation campaign as a legal activist. Could you tell me a little bit about the legislation itself? Back uh, just over 40 years ago, a bit over 40 years ago, gay men were either celibate or outlaws. The law that made us outlaws, there were two or three of them actually, one criminalised what was called the abominable crime of buggery. And that remained with slight variations on the English statute book and therefore the Victorian statute book until it was repealed in the decriminalisation that we talk about, the legislation that went through in 1980 and came into force in March 1981. The second set of laws was a thing called gross indecency between male persons, um, which was evidently discriminatory. It was introduced in 1885 in a very strange manoeuvre as a parliamentary amendment to an act which was actually called an act for the protection of women and girls. Mm -hmm. Hello, where did gross indecency between male persons come in? A morals crusader. The 1885 equivalent of some of the nasty people, I'm not going to mention their names at the moment, mm -hmm. here and now. The problem with that law, it was denounced in the parliament at the time as a blackmailer's charter, was that it, it dealt with gross indecency, which I suppose meant anything, any form of sex other than buggery, uh, with or without consent. And therefore, since there are usually only two people who are aware of what actually happens in bed or wherever you happen to be enjoying yourselves, if one of them is a blackmailer uh, or the agent of a blackmailer, and this used to happen in the late 19th century, early 20th century, so it was the blackmailer's charter and it caused a lot of danger. And it also meant, as I said, that we were, we were outlaws. Mm -hmm. The third one, which is the one that actually caught most people, at least in Victoria and at least in the last 50 years or so, was what's called loitering for homosexual purposes. That basically meant hanging around anywhere, inviting or hoping to be invited mm -hmm. to have sex. Mm -hmm. So we had three sets of laws. A lot of people in Victoria were falsely arrested on a, on a charge of loitering for homosexual purposes mm -hmm. and ruined because the social disgrace was the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. In the 50s and 60s, if you were arrested for and charged with loitering for homosexual purposes, uh, the chances are that you were written up in the local newspaper. We don't have local newspapers any anymore, but think of Facebook. Mm -hmm. Facebook for East St Kilda, Facebook for uh, Narry Warren, Facebook for Footscray South whatever. The local papers ran all those things and that would lead to you losing your job, losing your family, your marriage, because a lot of gay men were married for convenience or for ignorance or whatever, and would likely, likely get you kicked out of your rented accommodation. So it was disastrous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what the laws were. Yeah. Gross indecency, loiter for homosexual purposes, and the big one which was almost never used except for rape, buggery. Yeah. Those were the laws, they had to be got rid of.